Hi, my name is Ray Naylor, and this is The Performing Songwriter. My guest today is Galen Fitzpatrick. He was born in Georgia and grew up in eastern Pennsylvania. Galen writes songs of social issues, songs, he says, about a world that no one else is noticing. He has two albums, the latest being James McGovern. Some of Galen's influences include Emmy Lou Harris, Crosby, Stills, Nash & Young, Jackson Brown, and John Prine. I'll be back shortly uh, to talk to Galen, and we will later hear a number of his songs. Galen. Yeah. Thanks you very much for uh, being here today. Well, thanks for having me out. It's a great space you got. Yeah, yeah, we just fixed it up and uh, it's, it's turned out pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, I wanted to ask you, um, what got you in so much into music? Well, um, my dad was a was a piano player, uh -huh. um, and uh, so we always had a piano in the house. And uh, I guess one of my earliest musical memories is him playing in the Hall of the Mountain King, mm -hmm. while my brother and I ran back and forth across the living room increasingly fast, <laughs> sliding across hardwood floors till we hit the wall, sort of situation. Uh -huh. And uh, so music was just kind of always around. I mean, I guess in a lot of ways I sort of fell into it. Started out playing classical piano because that's what wow. lessons would do for me. Yeah, sure. Um, and then the the way I like to tell the story is that I got into guitar because it's really hard to haul a piano out to the <laughs> football field where the cheerleaders are. Um. <laughs> I know. I see people come in here with their the keyboards sometimes. Ah. Oh. And and, and uh, I haven't we haven't had a bass a stand up bass player yet, but um, you know I've seen them at gigs and the keyboard players, their physical yeah. therapists and chiropractors are just like yes. Exactly. <laughs> uh, when did you start writing uh, songs? Um. I guess I, I wrote my first song um, just out of high school, so uh, 2000. Mm -hmm. I was 18 at the time. It was a, it was a really crummy song. It's not any good. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> called it song number five, you know, to sound pretentious or something. Right, right. Yeah. Um, let me talk a little bit about your first name. I, I looked this up. Now, that's an Irish name, but it also goes back to Greek. The Greek is where mine comes from. Yeah, yeah. talk a little bit about that. Yeah, so... Uh, Galen, the uh, father of modern medicine sort mm -hmm. of situation, uh, mom was a nurse, uh, dad had spent some time as an x-ray uh, tech, oh, okay. and so they named me Galen, and they've been disappointed with my life choices <laughs> ever <laughs> since. We gave you such a good head start, how could you screw up that name? Mm -hmm. No, they're, they're really supportive, but yeah, they were, uh, they were medical people, and I thought Galen had a great ring to it. Um, now you've been in a couple bands. Are you in a band now? Yeah, I'm. Uh, I'm with uh, Black Horse Motel right now. Okay, talk a little bit about the band. Um, Black Horse Motel. We're a, uh, a folk rock group. Uh -huh. uh, we're Philly based. Um, cello, guitar, fiddle, full drum kit, huge. Everyone in the band sings. Mm -hmm. um, we get a bit more of sort of a Fleetwood Mac influence, I would say. Uh -huh. Right, which which tempers some of my John Prine. It's good to have people in the band who are more into uh, classic rock uh -huh, as yeah. opposed to just the uh, the folk stuff that I'm usually into. Um, we got a new album coming out, uh, hopefully late spring, early summer. We're just in the recording studio the other weekend. Um, some really great stuff we've been playing out at shows. It's good to finally have it down, uh -huh. you know, for someone else to hear when they're not seeing us live. Um, how do you find it different playing with in a band as opposed to just playing solo? I mean, not just in how it feels, but your um, your set list, things like that. Well, I mean, um, I'd say I, I prefer playing with a band. Um, <laughs> playing solo is uh, it's it's terrifying, <laughs> really, <laughs> in a lot of ways. Um, with with the band, you've got you've got a lot of other personalities to fill the stage. Um, when you're not sure what to do here, you're filling space. You're mm -hmm. not, huh, what am I doing with my hands, kind right, of thing. Right. You can look over at a friend and they'll fill space for you. Um, and music writing with the band is, I feel, a much richer experience. Oh, okay. Because I can, I can sort of come up with the song the way I hear it in my head, uh -huh. and then I bring it to a group of other very talented musicians, and they sit down with it and they go, well, we can't do that part. That's, that's complete rubbish. <laughs> Take that out. I know that's your favorite part. It's junk. Let's pull it. Mm -hmm. Save it for a different song. It just doesn't go here. Um, whereas solo, it's... Man, if, if that's what you thought the song was, that's what the song's going to be. Yeah, yeah. Right? Cool. And then you got to 
watch the audience and they'll let you know if that part's rubbish. Well, when you, I was going to ask you, when you hear a song uh, or songs, what, what do you think, when you hear a song say, that's really a good song, what are some of the qualities and, and the other side of the coin, when you hear a song that is not that good of a song, what do you think uh, some of the uh, qualities are that that maybe songwriters could try to avoid? Hmm. Well, um, without sounding like I know what I'm talking about, <laughs> uh, um, what what really draws me to a song, uh, first and foremost, are the lyrics. Um, I really, I prefer narrative structures. Mm -hmm. um, it's okay if you just want to tell me over and over again that you feel sad. I feel sad. I'm so lonely. I miss you. I'm so sad. We can do that. It's just not what I like. Um, so one thing that, that uh, I think a lot of music does right now that kind of turns me off is when we get the same verse over and over again, right? Mm -hmm. We don't get like verse, chorus, verse, chorus, bridge, verse, whatever. We uh -huh. get like verse one, chorus, verse one, chorus, verse one, chorus, yeah, yeah. end it. Right. And I'm, I'm stuck going, you could have wrapped that up in mm -hmm. the first minute of the song. You had told me everything you were going to say. Yeah. And, and I was pretty well set. Um, we could have moved on to the next thing. Um, so I, I try to avoid doing that. But sometimes, uh, honestly, in, in the live performance idiom and getting the audience wrapped up into it, sometimes you give them the same verse a second time. If for no other purpose than to go, did you get the story? Mm -hmm. I spent a lot of time on the story. You understand here that I'm talking about, you know, someone who's really messed up because of a long right. life of stuff. Um, but yeah, when, when a new song comes on, uh, I think of, um, uh, what was that one? Uh, I could sleep. I don't remember what band did it, but it was on the radio for a while. And it was mm -hmm. just like three minutes of, I could sleep. I could sleep. I could sleep. I, I get it. You're tired. <laughs> <laughs> right? Gotcha. Yeah. Yeah. Before, yeah. Um, one of the things I've been doing lately is, is, uh, finding a video of someone that is a, a good songwriter and performer and kind of showcasing them uh, and we'll take a little break here and then we'll come back um, to talk a little bit more and then we'll hear some songs fantastic um, the video that I have is a New York uh, City uh, songwriter and she's very good her name is Libby Johnson I have not heard Libby Johnson and uh, well we will hear it now alright I'm excited and uh, the name of her song is called Lift Me Up and this was uh, actually a Couple of years, several years ago. So uh, we're going to uh, watch and listen to Libby Johnson from New York City, and we'll be back after that. You're breathing hard, we'll tell you out. The cars are so
that's Libby Johnson. And uh, Galen, I wanted to ask you, if I remember reading your website, it seems like a lot of your songs, kind of the subject matter, some of them anyway, comes from your experiences of growing up. Um, yeah, uh, and, and yet very much no. Mm-hmm. Um, so uh, Rome, Georgia, was uh, where I was born. It's sort of a, an agricultural town. I mm-hmm. lost my... My first dog ran away to the horse farm across the street. <laughs> right. <laughs> um, and uh, then when we moved up to Morrisville, Pennsylvania, Morrisville uh, at the time really felt like it was still in its recovery mode. It was formerly, uh, I believe, U.S. Steel. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right. And so that was long closed down, but it felt like the town hadn't really figured out what its reason for existing mm-hmm. was after that. Um, so a lot of the sort of images of that, but. Um, Beyond that, I, I think it's really important for songwriters to sort of be actors in a way as well, right? Yeah. Uh, you'll hear people tell you, you gotta write about what you know, write about, well, I'm I'm 33, I don't know much. <laughs> <laughs> right? There's only so much experience I've had, um, but to be able to put yourself into someone else's shoes um, and write the song for someone else, I think is really important. So the, uh, for instance, the character of that album, James McGovern, is is based on right so james mcgovern is this old miner i've never done a day's work in a coal mine yeah <laughs> <laughs> you know it's uh it's not very good for for vocalists generally um and you know that doesn't mean i'm not qualified to tell his story mm-hmm. um and you 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 latch on to the parts of the story that are real for everybody right i mean uh in that story we talk about um the idea of his kids growing up and becoming estranged we talk about uh, falling out of love with someone who you were once deeply in love with, right? Mm-hmm. All of these things that are very real to everybody. Yeah. But you just tell it from that that place. Right. Right. So um, Morrisville was great for this because you could actually like get on your bike if you were willing to and ride out to U.S. Steel, mm-hmm. right, and see the old steel mill and and sort of ride around that area and see, you know, and and sort of put yourself there. What was what was it like on the day that this place actually closed? Right, you look around the town, and you see all these these sort of um, mill houses, right? Every th- every house sort of looks the same. You can tell they were put mm-hmm. up all at once, the oh, whole yeah. town yeah. at once, right? And you look at that, and you're like, so what? What was that first Monday morning like, when all of a sudden everybody just stayed home, right? And then uh, another thing with the steel mills is they had like, you know, they had a, a a higher a higher boom and then a layoff boom that they would go through. And so you, you get it through your head as well that that first Monday morning, it might not have felt like this is the end of the steel mill. Right. It might have felt like things are going to be lean for a couple of months, mm-hmm. but then the job's going to come back, right? And then, nah, I just it did. shut it up, right? So, yeah, I think, I think pretty much anywhere in America you go right now, you can find these places and you can find people looking to tell that story. Um, and it's just get in that story. Make yourself that person for mm-hmm. a day and, and tell their part. Uh, Galen, we're going to hear some of your songs. Yeah. Uh, and while we're setting you up, um, I have a video, uh, which is basically a slideshow, of our next uh, guest and some are, and her, one of her songs uh, underneath it. Okay, so now we're going to listen to Catherine Rondeau, uh, who is our uh, guest next time. So we'll be back, and Galen will sing four of his songs. She went away She put an end to your happy home And now you're wondering what the new day brings Cause you can't fly with broken wings You had no choice, nothing you could do An unspoken voice can't tell what's true I know you suffer You don't have to say a word Let me help you My broken bird My broken bird Broken wings A shattered voice You cannot sing My broken bird fly again A 
loved you so But it wasn't enough Couldn't replace your mother's love Still I keep on here Catch you when you fall My broken bird So young and small What will it take for you to see All the love around you, you hold the key For love can mend your broken wings Hear your broken voice that never sings My broken mind, broken wings shattered voice you cannot sing my broken mind let the love come in that love can heal you so you can fly again sweet broken bird you have a choice to fight the darkness, to find your voice. My broken bird, it's gonna take some time to gain your strength so you can climb. Once you get stronger, you're gonna fly away. Somehow I know you'll come back someday. Sweet broken bird, it's always gonna be true. The love you give will come back to you. The love you give will come back to you. The love you give will come back to you. So I tend to write some uh, some pretty depressing songs sometimes, so I thought I would start you guys off with something a little lighter. Uh, it's the song I wrote for my wife. It's called Just For You, and she's not here, so you guys are going to have to be the stand-in. All right. It's a short little ditty, so don't be going no being naughty with the scroll, because you'll miss the whole thing. Live where sun shines daily Those clouds won't show their gray and Puffed up faces and the rain only falls And the evening comes down Tripping on your roof Mother Nature sings her lullabies Just for you You and I can grow old together We'll watch those sunsets and the stormy weather But the rain only falls and the evening comes down Tripping on your roof Mother Nature sings her lullabies just for you Or even know it just for you all right enough of that happy stuff let's get down with our depressing selves 
Um, I'm going to do a song that uh, we do with Black Horse Motel. Um, we didn't end up recording it on this next EP, but it's going to be on the next one. I can feel it. It's called Till the Day. I live in a town where no one fears Everybody is your buddy but nothing's real The herd wells out but we don't cry We carry it within us till the day we die We drown it out with liquor and with alcohol Smoke till the fires cleanse us all Scourge our tongues that we don't know why We'll carry it within us till the day we die How dare you claim to know me When I don't know myself My reflection is the devil and the mirror's hell My misdeeds are storm clouds on the breeze Bitter is the bite on the stormy sail Can't stop the deluge but you know we'll try Damn it up within us till the day we die The thing I've done will take me far from you Though I've tried to live a life square and true The deed now done can't meet you we carry it within us till the day we die How dare you claim to know me When I don't know myself My reflection is the devil And the mirror is my Reflection is the devil and the mirror's hell. My reflection is the devil and the mirror's hell. Scorned by the face that I know so well. Got no coin to cross the black and white. Carry me to judgment on the other side. Carry me along, let me tear it no more. I don't even understand what you're still listening for. When the truth wants pure brings to be lies We'll carry it within us till the day we die How dare you claim to know me When I don't know myself My reflection is the devil and the mirror is my After one of those uh, conversations with a friend where you're just like, ouch, you know, that's where a lot of my songs come from, I think, is listening to other people's pain and claiming it as my own, which is really very selfish <laughs> when it gets right down to it. Um, this next song I'm going to do, it's called Mud, and uh, I, try to sway, I try to stay away from too much autobiography, but this one's kind of... I don't know, I had to apologize to some people after I wrote it. <laughs> Mud. You and I grew up in the same part of town On the wrong side of the tracks 
where people keep their heads down, nose to the grindstone, feet on the ground. We grew up dreaming of flying, high above those storms where the sun never sets, and the clouds don't obscure the horizon it spreads. Frontiers all around. Pay my writing dreams down. Make them seem permanent in black and white. Pay my writing dreams down. Say goodnight. I can't imagine you looking finer. Than you did in a wedding white When the wind blew all around you Lifted your veil And the sight of your smile Beaming at me Oh, it was like honey But we had ourselves some kids And we bought ourselves home And the bills kept piling in My whole life was on loan But the tempest weak temper Weather on our own. Pay my writing dreams down. Make them seem permanent in black and white. Pay my writing dreams down. Say good night. But this town dragged us down and it made us hurt. And it filled our lives with water Till this roof weighed like an anchor And this rain cut like a flint You got diaries full of change And I got pockets full of lint And our feet are mired in the mud Yeah, our feet are mired in the mud So now my clothes are hanging off me And I feel like skin and bone And the tired that I have is worse than any that I've known I'm going off to work It's just a way not to be home Still you're writing dreams down Harsh accusations in black and white Still you're writing dreams down Say goodnight. So I sit and drink and I stare you down while the world wears down to this roof weighed like an anchor and this ring cut like a flint. You got diaries full of change and I got pockets full of lint. got bottles that are empty you got dreams that ain't fulfilled though we ache to stretch our feathers spread our wings we never will cause our dreams are mired in the mud yeah our dreams are mired in the mud Yeah, that one's, oh, jeez, you know, growing up, <laughs> it's not, it's not easy, I guess, for anybody, I, I guess, but I certainly haven't liked all of it. Um, I'm going to do one more for you guys, and uh, I'm going to do another one that we do with Black Horse Motel. Um... which would be great if I could remember the name of it off the top of my head, but this is something that happens to me all the time. On stage, I just, I get up there and I'm like, I'm gonna play this song for you. What's it called? Maybe I'll come up with the name of it by the end, probably from singing the chorus, but this is how it goes.
You and I, we'll go down We'll paint the old town red in mud and blood and sweat and tears Find the guy is an old Make him pay for what he did Make him regret every scar he left you to carry all along While you covered them with anger You cover them with fear You cover them with oxy and you cover them with beer You cover them by hiding every part of you you love Take it back now Wish I could ever take it back now memory lane it is never clearly marked the GPS won't give you warning that you should have left your car the future is getting close now and the past is closing in and closer is the memory of the awful thing you did she covered them with anger she covered them with fear she covered them with oxy and she covered them with beer. She covered them by hiding every part of you she loved. Take it back now, take it back now. songs take it back now of course obviously and uh, that one's gonna be on the uh, the soon to be released EP hopefully end of spring maybe early summer doesn't have a name yet but uh, maybe you'll drop a note in the comments and give me some ideas and uh, yeah we'll see you again real soon Someone 
Thanks a lot for your music. Oh, it's great, it's great to play it. Um, if people want to get a hold of you or find out where you're playing, where to get your recordings, how do they do that? Well, if, if you want to see sort of solo stuff, uh, galenfitzpatrick.com is the best place to go for that. Um, if you want to catch Black Horse Motel, you got to go to blackhorsemotel.net. If you go to .com, you're trying to book a room. Um, <laughs> so definitely blackhorsemotel.net. Um you can find both of us, Black Horse Motel and myself, on Facebook and Twitter and Instagram. Mm-hmm. Twitter, you're probably listening to me. Um, <laughs> I handle most of the Twitter stuff for the band. Um, or Megan, our wonderful drummer, is also on Twitter. Um, yeah, those are really the best places. If you go to the website, definitely sign up for the mailing list. Mm-hmm. Uh, we do not act annoying about it. It's only if we've got great news. And in terms of your, your records? Um, records... Uh, I would love it if you bought them through CD Baby. That helps me the most. Um, but you can find them on iTunes. You can find them on Google Play. You can find them on Amazon. Everybody's music is everywhere now, you know? Um, if you walk into your local record store, I'm sorry, I don't have a good relationship with them yet. So definitely there are, stick There are online. record stores? There, there are. I, I see people with haircuts like mine going to them. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, everybody's got a turntable again. Um, I listen to Yes on mine mostly. Well, Galen, thank you very much. Thanks for having me, right? For uh, being on the show. Thank you so much. And we'll be back in about two weeks with uh, Catherine Rondeau. See you then. <laughs>